Welcome to Computer Science 2425 Chapter 1 Video Part 1. Our book title is called Assembly Language for 86 Processors. This is for Intel 86 processor families. Uh, there's a sequence of uh, these kind of processors. So where our textbook uh, is based on uh, these uh, processor families. This is the seventh edition by author Kip Irvin. And uh, later you're going to see we are going to use uh, his library functions to develop assembly language programming. Chapter one is about the basic uh, computer concepts. Today I'm going to talk about the welcome to assembly language. This is a chapter overview. There are a few sections in there, this chapter. Welcome to assembly language. And uh, when you are taking this class, you may ask uh, some good questions like, uh, why do you have to take this class? What's this class about? So let's see. Why am I learning assembly language? Uh, first, I will say it's because uh, this is a part of your degree plan. Uh, second, uh, it's because it's important to know assembly language as a computer science student. Third, it's because it's very useful. Uh, it's going to help you later in your careers uh, or as a computer science student when you move on to higher level learnings. What background should you have? Uh, you need to uh, have passed uh, the Programming Fundamental 1 class. That's our computer science uh, 1436 class. Uh, in that class, uh, you have learned some logic thinking, uh, basic uh, structures for basic uh, um, programming. Um, you need to know loops, uh, if statements, switch statements. What's a sampler? It's a translator, just like a compiler. When you run C++ code, uh, you use uh, Visual Studio, that's a compiler. Assembler is uh, similar to a uh, compiler. It's going to assemble your source code and uh, whatever you written and uh, assemble it into the executable code so you can run on your computer. It's a translator, just like a compiler. Uh, what hardware software do you need? Uh, hardware, of course, is your PC. Software is Microsoft Visual Studio. You don't need any other software. You can run your Visual Studio to run your assembly code. And you can to see how in later uh, videos, I'm going to create a video to show you how. Uh, what kind of programs uh, you're going to create? Of course, is assembly language program. Mm, what do you get from this book? Uh, you know, how to program with assembly languages, uh, and their language classifications, uh, uh, advanced topics. Uh, well, what will you learn? Uh, at least you will see in chapter one, uh, you need to know number systems, uh, how to use has a decimal numbers, binary numbers, decimal numbers, and how you are going to convert them between this to another one and back and forth. How does assembly language related to your machine language? Assembly language stands one level above machine language. So machine language is a low level language. Mesh, uh, assembly language is above this language. It's more user friendly, programmer friendly. Uh, human being cannot read a machine language machine code because uh, they are in binaries. Uh, we cannot remember. Uh, you know. Uh, you know. We, we're not. We cannot handle it. So we use assembly language. Assembly language is kind of like English, but. Uh, not that user friendly. To be productive, to develop large size programming, 
you have to use C plus or Java. Java is called uh, or uh, C plus plus. They are called high level languages. So, uh, they are st uh, they are above assembly language. So between the high level language and the low level language in the machine language, we have assembly language. So. Uh, assembly language stand between the middle of C++ and the machine language. Is your assembly language portable? Um, no, it's not portable. Uh, whatever you develop for one platform cannot uh, you know, deployed to another platform. If you develop it for a PC, you cannot, uh, um, you know, use it in your Mac computer. Why you learning AL? Uh, like I said before, it's useful, and uh, it helps you to understand uh, your computer better, uh, understand uh, your uh, languages better. Uh, some assembly language applications, uh, some business applications for single platform uh, are written by assembly language. language. A device driver uh, is uh, uh, usually by using assembly language developed. Uh, why do we need a device driver? Uh, some of you probably not familiar with this concept. Let me explain to you. Device driver is a software, and uh, whenever you have a new device, like today, uh, you purchased a, a new printer, you have to install the printer as a device driver to your computer, so you can let your computer talk to your device driver, and the device driver talk to your device, so you can print out. So. Device driver software stand between your PC's operating system and uh, your computer computer's hardware. In old days, whenever you have a new device like uh, um, camcorder or a scanner, whichever you have, you want to add into your computer system to use it, you have to install the device driver. But today, with the new operating system, the modern operating system, they are huge. They have uh, a whole bunch of uh, most often used device driver. So you don't have to install any device driver for most times. Uh, so you skip the step to install device driver to your operating system even you got a new printer or a scanner. But they are available in your operating system. You also can use assembly language to develop a business application for multiple platforms, for PC, for Mac computer, for any other you know, digital devices. Assembly language application can be used for embedded systems or computer games. Um, for computer games, you know you want to play it fast, uh, you need a speed. Uh, so the applications, the software uh, you are playing, uh, they need, uh, uh, you know, most times they are written by assembly language. Uh, because uh, if you use assembly language, uh, they can address uh, or um, directly direct uh, your hardware in your gaming system, and so you have better speed. For embedded system like automobiles, uh, uh, mach uh, computer controlled machines, uh, you have to, most times uh, you use assembly language to write uh, their control systems. Uh, this table shows uh, uh, the comparison between high level language and assembly languages. Uh, you can read uh, this uh, uh, table to get more ideas. For example, uh, for hardware device driver, and uh, uh, it's better use assembly language. Uh, for business application for single platform, um, uh, you can use high level language or assembly low level language. But for large size multi-platform application, 
you better use high level language and you can be productive. Uh, it's not easy to write a code in assembly language. So for gaming system, and uh, you write in assembly language, but people also use high level language. Uh, it's just about the speed. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about a virtual machine concept. So today I'm going to stop right here. Thank you for watching.